Hey guys, it's Phaedra from All Things Phaedra, and I am on location today, and you'll never guess where. Well, you probably will guess where based on the video description, but I am in right smack in the middle of Pennsylvania in an area called Clearfield County. There's so much to do in this region, especially if you are an outdoors lover. So if you like animals, if you like rocks, if you like nature, and if you like to end the day with something good to drink, I've got a lot to show you right here in Clearfield County, Pennsylvania. Let's start at Elk Country Visitor Center in Benazet, Pennsylvania. This is a nonprofit wildlife conservation organization, and as you guessed it, it's all about elk. Now, elk were native to Pennsylvania until about the late 1800s when the population was diminished. By 1913, though, they repopulated the area by bringing in elk from Yellowstone National Park. Now the population is about 1,500, and they live in this area on their own. They are encouraged to stay there by the local organization planting crops like alfalfa, clover, and winter wheat, which brings the elk in to feed. Now the best time to come for me was fall, during the rut, which is the breeding season. And as you can see, here are some young males sparring, kind of practicing for their big day. You'll typically find the bulls, or the males, engaging in this kind of behavior when they're battling it out for a chance with the cows. To give you an idea of the size of an elk, I was lucky enough to see one hanging out in a field with a bunch of deer. They may look like rabbits, but those are actually young deer just laying down in the grass. Traveling by a quiet horse and wagon, we're able to get close to the elk and listen to one bugling. Next up is a walking tour of this amazing area called Bilger's Rocks. Bilger's Rocks, come along. This is a privately owned park, but it's had visitors for many years. In fact, you can see some old graffiti carved in the rock. This is from 1921. These rocks are actually sandstone formations, and they're about 300 million years old. This area comprises about 20 acres right smack in the middle of Pennsylvania. Now you do want to be careful when you're walking. Lots of cracks and crevices. In fact, this one right here, our guide said you needed to be young, thin, and agile to climb up through there. I'm not young, I'm not thin, but I proved that I was agile. And once you're up on top of the rocks, like I said, you really have to watch where you're walking because these crevices won't even be obvious to you. You need to do giant daring leaps over them or, you know, just casually step across. Now there's a famous resident in the area, Roland Welker, who was the winner of the show Alone, season seven, spent a hundred days in the wilderness, not in Pennsylvania, but they recreated the house that he created and survived a hundred days up in the northern wilderness. In fact, Roland Welker is such a local celebrity that you'll see him again at our next destination. After all that hiking, we worked up a good thirst and what better place to quench it than Star Hill Winery, a family-run winery, mainly known for having wineries in local Walmarts. This is located in Kerwinsville, Pennsylvania, and when you walk in, you might catch a glimpse of that local celebrity. There's Roland Welker back in the corner. We did get a full tour of the basement, which shows where they make the wines, where they bottle the wines, and where they even create cans of some of their specialty drinks. And they offer a variety of wines, dry, semi-dry, sweet, and fruit. Now, I am not normally a fruit wine drinker. I don't like sweet wine at all. And I bought their blueberry lemon wine, which actually benefits the local Humane Society. 
And I bought their pear wine, which they let us sample warmed up with mulling spices, great for the winter. We finished our trip upstairs where we got to sample a lot of the varieties, dry, sweet, and I might have come home with a few bottles. Last stop on our trip was to downtown Clearfield. It's actually a city and we went to Rivers Landing, which is an event center and also home to the brand new Dented Keg Brewery. But the best part were the beautiful fall views just outside. What better way to end an experience in Clearfield County than right here in Clearfield? This is the county seat of Clearfield County, and it's also the town of Clearfield. And as you can see, it's situated right along the west branch of the Susquehanna River. So where am I right now? Well, this is a brand new building right on the waterfront. And there's actually a whole river walk here there's going to be a distillery over there, and right below me, soon to open, is a brewery. So if you love the outdoors, you want to go see your animals, you want to go see some rocks, you want to do hiking, you can end the day with some relaxation in a downtown small city. So thanks for joining me for a quick look at this beautiful place, this beautiful area right in the heart of central Pennsylvania. If you've ever been to Clearfield County or now you're thinking about going to Clearfield County, let me know. I'd love to hear about your past experiences or what experiences you plan to have when you go. So be sure to give me a like on this video and subscribe so you can come back for more grand adventures just like this. Thanks guys.